Israel continued its airstrikes across Gaza overnight. Palestinian officials say those attacks severely damaged a medieval Greek Orthodox church, the oldest in Gaza. And more than two million people in Gaza are still waiting for critical aid to come through the crossing with Egypt. NBC's Jay Gray is in Tel Aviv. Well, it's another active day across the region right now. Protesters spilling into the streets and adding to their anger. An Israeli airstrike at a Greek Orthodox church in Gaza. Hamas saying that 18 people died there. At least 500 were using the church as a shelter because of the fighting in Gaza. We know that Israeli defense forces continue to mount and prepare, it would appear, to make a ground offensive. The pace of attacks, according to the IDF, something they haven't seen in decades. Forces on the ground using their words now, preparing for their next phase. We know that contained raids have been going on near the fence with Gaza. The area is still considered a war zone. And IDF officials say they believe Hamas operatives are still on the Israel side. The other end of this is the humanitarian aid, and that's become an issue as well. Delayed once again, we thought we'd see trucks rolling in with food, water, and medicine for those trapped inside Gaza. It did not happen today. What we've been told is the situation on the ground there is just too volatile to move those in. No administrators, no U.N. representatives on the ground there right now. The U.N. Secretary General has said today that getting those supplies in is, quote, the difference between life and death for so many people in Gaza. There is an expectation that at least 20 semis could begin to roll tomorrow. But again, we've seen this before, and to this point, there's been no movement. That's the latest here in Tel Aviv. I'm Jay Gray, NBC News.